हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट पार्ट लाइन ऑफ क्रेन तो वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज पार्ट लाइन ऑफ क्रेन तो दी पार्ट लाइन इज बेसिकली दी नंबर ऑफ लाइन्स और द नंबर ऑफ रोप्स सपोर्टिंग द हुक ब्लॉक और बेसिकली द हुक ऑफ द क्रेन इज कॉल्ड एज पार्ट लाइन ऑफ द क्रेन ना इन दिस फिगर यू कैन ईजली सी देर आर वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट एट रोप्स और बेसिकली एट लाइन्स आर सपोर्टिंग द हुक ब्लॉक सो द नंबर ऑफ पार्ट लाइन्स आर बेसिकली एट नाउ दिस पार्ट लाइन्स प्ले ए इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल तो बेसिकली वी कैन डिफाइन द नंबर ऑफ पार्ट लाइन्स ऑफ ए क्रेन इन टू वेज दे आर टू मैथड्स टू डिफाइन द नंबर ऑफ पार्ट लाइन्स ऑफ ए क्रेन फर्स्ट मैथड इज बेस्ड अपॉन कैपेसिटी ऑफ द क्रेन ओके फर्स्ट इज You directly know the capacity of the crane. Suppose you have 500 ton crane, you have uh, 600 ton cranes. So from that capacity, you can directly define the number of part line for lifting. And se third, uh, second way is based upon the load. We will discuss both this method in detail in this video. Before going further, we first understand what are the importance of the part line. What is the basic importance of the part line of the crane? So if there are proper lines. then we have the enough capacity if the proper lines the proper number of wire rope supporting the hook are there then only we can lift uh, the uh, exact capacity that we want to lift or it is basically safe lifting so we have to devise number of proper lines accordingly secondly thing is that it is not like this we can increase number of lines uh, uh, based upon the safety because these part lines also having some weight okay if we increases the number of lines the weight the rope is having the rope is having uh, weight okay and rho is equal to m by v you can easily calculate the weight uh, of the rope so these ropes are having weight if you increase the number of part lines the number of rope increases their weight increases so the crane capacity lifting capacity decreases so part lines they have weight and this weight is inversely proportional to the capacity of the crane so so we doesn't have to provide so much part line we have to provide educate part line only and the third thing is that if the speed the uh, suppose we have to lift this block the speed at which this hook block is going up depends upon the number of part line if you increase the number of part line the number of reactions increases the number of uh, supports increases so speed decreases so more part line less will be the speed of the uh, basically the movement of the block the crane block speed will decrease so we have we also have educate number of part lines only and uh, it has been found experimentally that generally odd number of part line uh, there is a block tilting there is a tilt at the time of lifting there is a tilt of the of uh, hook block so it is generally preferred to have even number of part line i will make a detailed video regarding why there is a tilt why when we use odd number of part line also so hope this clear the importance of part line is very much uh, if we increase the part line in axis then the speed adversely affecting the capacity adversely affecting and uh, uh, even the odd number and even number part line have also advantage and disadvantage so we have to decide a proper number of part line a sufficient number of part line not more than enough okay now we have discussed there are two approach one is the based on the capacity of the crane and the second is based on the load so first is based on the capacity of the crane if suppose you have a crane okay that is uh, having the crane first approach 500 ton crane you are having okay and this 500 ton crane and uh, the single part line capable of lifting only 50 ton the single rope the single wire rope has a cap tension the maximum capable of lifting only 50 ton load safe load 50 ton load so if we directly divide 500 by 50 it means 10 the so number of part line is required are 10 this is a simple approach okay directly it is based upon the maximum capacity of the crane okay if there is 600 ton crane is there and uh, the part line the single uh, line can lift 60 k uh, 60 tons only then number of part line again 600 by 60 that is 10 part line okay the second approach is the load that is being lifted at the second approach is based up on uh, the maximum load below the hook or below the boom or jib or the maximum load below the boom or the jib this is basically the boom or some there is extension that is jib so whatever the maximum load coming at the end of the boom or the if there is some extension jib then we decide uh, part line accordingly suppose the load weight that the load that you are lifting is w okay the rigging weight 
is basically r rigging weight is basically r rigging weight means uh, you are lifting something then you must be using tools tackles lifting beam you are using you are using uh, rigging uh, wire rope slings you are using your may, maybe web slings you are using and uh, whatever the rigging arrangement you have provided it has weight r after that the hook block also have weight that is h okay now wire rope weight is w r wire rope the part line weight is w r per unit length okay and the part line total length the length is constant you are just reviewing up to the number of times so that is basically the same so part line length will be constant and wire rope dia is basically d okay so what we have we have whatever the weight coming below the boom we have to add that weight so that weight include the load the rigging weight hook block weight and wire rope uh, weight per unit length and if we multiply with number part line length then it will be wr into l basically and suppose in some uh, uh, questions the diameter of the rope is given to so row density of the rope wire is given to so row is equal to m by v you can easily calculate volume is pi by 4 d square you can easily assume that and row into pi by 4 d square will give you the mass and multiplied with g it will give you the weight so simply you can do that okay and line pull capacity is and that is a single line is capable of lifting only n newton only okay the single line if we are using the single line that is n so what we have to do in this approach we just add o whole weight that is coming below the boom that is weight load weight rigging weight basically hook block weight and the weight of the wire rope or the number of part lines weight and divide by the single part line or single line pull capacity it will give you the number of part lines if the number of part line is coming 5.6 then always choose 6 okay always choose the higher side of the part line okay now there are two other things are there part line safety factor and part line utilization so basically part line safety factor what does it be safety factor maximum load over allowable stress safety factor is this sim so maximum load is basically the part line capacity and the lifting load is basically what we are lifting up so part line capacity divided by overall load is basically part line safety factor is must be greater than or equal to two for a good con lifting condition then part line utilization is the net overload load that can be lift using a crane and part line capacity is what is the part line capacity that is basically part line utilization suppose uh, the part line capacity the whole key is coming out of about uh, 60 percent uh, 60 uh, part line capacity is basically 600 ton and the overall load that we are lifting up is only 50 ton so whatever the utilization into 100 so that will be the percentage utilization of the part line capacity so these part lines play an important role we have to decide accordingly the number of part lines there are two approaches we already have discussed and uh, the speed of the crane lifting as well as the these part line itself has their weight so it is an important uh, topic to look into and we have to decide according the number of part line and always prefer having the even number of part line because experimentally it is fine that the odd number of part line there is a tilt of the hook block hope you like you like this video you like this lecture keep supporting subscribe thank you